Hey there, movie lovers. It's your favorite feline critic, Coconut Kitty, here to unravel the mysteries of the bizarre and mind-bending world of cinema. Today, we got a real head-scratcher on our paws, Umberto Lindsay's Spasmo. Now, let's dive into this wild ride and figure out what on earth this movie is all about. First off, why was Spasmo made? Well, folks, it's the 70s, a time of experimental cinema, weird hairstyles, experimental drugs, and even weirder plots. Drugs, well, drugs are bad. Lindsay, known for his thrillers and horror flicks, wanted to create something that would leave audiences scratching their heads and questioning their sanity. Mission accomplished, Umberto. Now, who directed this cinematic oddity? None other than Umberto Lindsay himself, the Italian and Mastro of Macomb, and who starred in this twist as tail. Well, you got Robert Hoffman, the dashing Austrian actor, and the lovely Susan Kendall. Together, they bring this perplexing plot to life, or should I say, to a state of perpetual confusion. Where was the spasmo made? Well, in Italy, of course, the land of pasta and passion and perplexing plots. The movie was filmed in various picturesque locations across Italy, adding a touch of beauty to the madness. Who made Spasmo? Well, it was a collaboration of some very imaginative and possibly deranged minds. The screenplay was written by Umberto Lindsay, Pino Baller, with music by the legendary Ennio Morricone. Yes, even Morricone couldn't resist the lure of this enigmatic project. And how did the script come about? Legend has it that Lindsay and Bowler locked themselves in a room with nothing but the typewriter and a bottomless pot of espresso. That is just a legend, and you need to fact check that. Days turned into nights, and out came the script for Spasmo, a psychological thriller that makes you question reality and your mental stability. Now, what happened during filming? Well, based on various internet interviews, it was quite the adventure. There was reports of mysterious occurrences on sets, lights flickering, strange noises, and even a prop mannequin that seemed to move on its own. Spooky stuff, right? The cast and crew pushed through determined to bring Lindsay's vision to life. How was Spasmo received? Well, it just say it left audiences and critics divided some held it as a masterpiece of psychological horror while others were left utterly baffled but hey isn't that the beauty of cinema it meant to provoke thought and stir emotions even if those emotions are pure confusion finally what is the psychological meaning of spasmo Ah, oh, that's the million dollar question the film delves into the themes of identity reality and paranoia it's a surreal exploration of the human psyche making you question what's real and what's illusion? Is there a deeper meaning or is it just a mind-bending trip? That's for you to decide, dear viewers. So there you have it, the enigmatic, bewildering, and utterly fascinating world of Spasmo. If you're in the mood for a movie that will leave you scratching your head and questioning your sanity, give it a watch. Until next time, keep your paws on the moat and your mind open to the weird and wonderful world of cinema. And folks, if you like to watch these movies, why don't you go to eBay, click on the link below, they can give you a good deal on, say, movies like Spasmo. You guys have one today. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing right here on the Coconut Daddy channel. Who's your daddy?